This is David, WA901Y. I'm showing the Bofang UV5R and how I do the videos. This has evolved over the last several weeks as I take more videos and collect more stuff. I have a piece of metal and a clamp that allows me to position the UV5R exactly where I wanted. All the um, videos taken with an iPhone there using the camera. I edit it with the uh, photo app to trim the ends. And then there's an app called iMovie that I uh, collect the different uh, segments together and upload it to uh, YouTube. Also to uh, receive better, you see I have an external antenna connected to the UV5R on the top. Lighting is really important. That's an LED lighting. It uh, came from uh, uh, Goodwill. Goodwill's one of my good sources to collect things. Uh, the lamp there came from Goodwill. The Sony microphone here came from Goodwill for a couple of dollars. The uh, tripod uh, underneath uh, was the most expensive. I think I paid nine dollars for that. Uh, the little clamp came from a selfie that detached and had a quarter 20 threads on it and it screws right into the top of the tripod. So now that I use that for um, holding the uh, iPod. The red cable, of course, is power. And then the iPhone has a cable coming off of it that splits into speaker and mic. Uh, the speaker goes off to a set of speakers uh, sitting behind the uh, Mac there. The uh, audio comes from two things. One, I have attenuator uh, cable from the uh, Olympus uh, voice recorder, and that goes into the uh, splitter that's uh, coming off, uh, buried down here, off the uh, Bofang, so I don't hear background noises like the washing machine and stuff like that. That splitter has one that goes on, again, to a second pair of speakers. Again, Goodwill supplies those type of things as you look around. And of course, the other output from the splitter goes into the attenuator cable, which then goes into the iPhone. Uh, when I'm speaking, I take that uh, attenuator uh, cable off. And then I have up here the Sony microphone. And I plug the Sony microphone into the uh, iPhone to do the recording. So this gives you an idea of the uh, indoor recording setup. Um, and again, uh, two of the speaker leads come over to two sets of speakers. Back here behind the uh, MacBook. Uh, this desk area, by the way, is for my uh, electronic experiment. So it's my workbench for uh, uh, has my oscilloscope, spectrum analyzers, uh, other things on it. So I do only this uh, temporarily when I do the videos. So the, this hopefully gives you some ideas if you want to do um, uh, YouTube videos, uh, what I've learned. Uh, the key thing is uh, uh, microphones sound a whole lot better. Notice that there's a foam cover. That's uh, I got that from Amazon. and. Uh, I notice that this uh, microphone is not directly at me. It's pointed to the side, and I speak across the uh, front of it, not into it directly. And I found that basically helped out. By the way, I'm using an iPad with a little uh, remote uh, uh, speak uh, microphone clipped onto my uh, shirt to do this video. So hopefully, uh, as I kind of back away, this is what I use to do these videos on the Bofang UV5R indoors. This is David, WA901Y, 73, and QRT.